So I told Hulk Hogan, no, I won't put you over, and I'm going to tell you why. Because you refused to do a program with the greatest of all time, Jake the Snake Roberts, therefore denying my childhood the feud that Little Ripper wanted to see. I had to reenact it with my Hasbro figures, you know, like all the kids did. You know, I told Hogan. You didn't just screw over all the kids in America. You screwed over yourself, buddy. Because Jake Roberts was the only, one of the only few guys that era who could have pulled a good match out of your ass. Plus, that whole feud would have been like a highlight of your career. It, it would have made you big time money. But because of your pride, you refused to do it. So, I told him, screw you, Hogan. That's why I'm not going to put you over. And there's nothing you can do about it. Because I've got creative control. It's in my contract. And that's the uh, story behind the night that I pinned Hulk Hogan. Yeah, and, and I guess, you know, for those of you who, have, who haven't seen that match, I used the DDT at the end, uh, a little homage to Jake Roberts. You know, I am a visionary renegade in a rogue. That's what Ripper the Clown is. But I do also enjoy paying homage to people who have inspired and influenced my career. So, yeah, I, I ended that match with the DDT, and there was nothing that Hogan could do about it. Um, but let me just ask this. Before, before we uh, continue here, uh, it looks like the camera is pretty stable. It looks like a pretty good camera. Are we okay production-wise? Yeah, we're fine. It's good. Okay, okay. Well, just to make this like the standard shoot, I would recommend that you edit in a jerky camera and some really bad audio um, before uh, you know you, you put it out on, uh, on, on DVD. Uh, hold on. So, what's your take on the CM Punk situation? Drinking. You asked me about the uh, CM Punk situation. You know, I, I heard Colt Cabana show last week where uh, Punk came out and talked about what happened and, and all that stuff. And, and what I know is this. Um, you know, I, I heard Punk's story about what happened. Um, you know, I was there. I, I was there when it happened. And uh, I think it was, you know, it was probably around... The Rumble shortly thereafter. You may want to look that up, but um, it was shortly after the Rumble, and um, you know, again, I heard Punk's explanation, and there is a lot of truth to that. But in actuality, what led to him leaving the WWE and the subsequent firing was um, there was an altercation in the back um, between CM Punk and the Great Khali, and um, apparently he had been building for a while because um, the Great Khali had for apparently a long time been taking offense to the fact that uh, Punk was using the moniker the best in the world. Um, Greg Kali felt as though that should be his phrase, the best in the world. So, um, you know, after so long of this building and it just was, you know, pissing Kali off for so long, so finally Kali just approached Punk. And, uh, you know, in his, you know, in his voice as he does, sounds like a mummy, <laughs> but Kali Basically, you know, when you translate the uh, 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 you get that Kali was mad, he approached Punk, he's like, you know, stop using best of the world, I'm best in the world, and I want to start using that phrase. And, you know, it pissed Punk off, rightfully so, of course. And uh, so, you know, this verbal altercation escalated into a physical altercation, and Kali started it. You know, he started swinging, doing this chop thing, and, you know, Kali's a huge guy, I mean, his hands are like, you know, five times mine. And, uh, but the thing is, he's slow and awkward, and just, you know, he, I have to say this about Kali, he's a great guy, you know, love the guy, but the thing is, like, watching him walk is hilarious, because he's got this funny walk that he's like, trying, it's like a bobblehead trying to, to keep from falling down, so it's like, he's trying to act smooth, but it's very awkward, I, I love watching him walk, it cracks me up, but, uh, so, anyway, um, you know, Punk knocked him out. And, you know, he had to stand on a chair to do it, but Punk knocked him out. He's a powerful guy. He's an athlete. He knocked Kali out pretty quickly, punched him in that crescent moon face of his. And it was funny because, like, Kali took the punches like he was selling. He just kind of quivered and, and jerked, and then he fell over like a plank of wood. It, it, that was pretty entertaining. Um, you know, then it was over. And, um, you know, that's, that's just the way it is. That's, that's you know, it, it ended that quickly. And, um, you know, I, I, I get along with everyone. You know, everyone confides in me. I get, I don't have problems with anyone. I, you know me. I get along with all the boys. And the thing is, like, I talked to both of them afterward. And, you know, it was... Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Phone's ringing. I gotta get this. It's Dick Van Dyke. Hey, Rob Petrie, what's up? 
sorry I had to take that call. When, uh, when Dick Van Dyke calls you, you answer the phone. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, he, he's one of my comedic inspirations, much like Jake Roberts, as I mentioned before. He's a big inspiration and influence in, in my career. So, you know, I pay homage to those people. And, uh, you know, when, when one of them calls me, I, I, I freaking answer, no matter what I'm doing. But anyway, um, so where was I? Um, okay, I, I, you know, I, I talk with both Punk and, and Kali afterward. And, uh, you know, it was just one big misunderstanding. And again, the conversation with Kali was really kind of hard. And again, I love the guy, but it was just like, yeah, let's face it, English is not that man's forte. Just like, oh, blah, 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 blah. well, here's here's my version, my translation of Kali's argument and his position in this whole situation. Kali did not understand what the best in the world meant, you know, be it an English barrier, or a translation problem, whatever the case may be. He thought that the best in the world meant that meant this. He thought it meant the most untalented wrestler in the world to enigmatically have a contract. And uh, so that was his argument that that should be his name, and rightfully so. I mean, that that should be the Great Khali's moniker, you know, that should be his catchphrase, you know. But the problem started because he you know, of that English barrier. So... You know, granted what he thought the phrase meant, it suited him, but that's not what the phrase meant. And he blew up on punk, and it was ridiculous. It was a big misunderstanding, a big mistake, and it was just unfortunate for everyone involved. You know, I do know that, I will say this, I do know that Doc Hendricks tried to intervene at some point. You know, he's a sensitive guy, so he wanted to try to put everyone together. It, it didn't happen. Um, and, you know, again, I talked to punk, and the man was pissed. And, again, he had every right to be pissed off big time. He was livid. And I don't blame him for a second. Um, Punk packed his stuff. He walked out. Uh, I walked into his car, you know, and we talked. And, um, you know, he told me he's done. And when he says he's done, he's done. And he left. And, you know, eventually they, they fired him. And, you know, they've had all the, you know, the shenanigans behind the, the stage about, you know, his situation and his status. Um, and, and now, you know, months later, we hear that Kali is probably gone, too. Um, so, you know, it was just a sad situation for everyone involved, um, but that's the truth of what happened that night, and, um, you know, I, I think that it's the, I'm the first individual to speak out and tell the truth, so, you know, RFC video for this Ripper the Clown shoot interview, they have an exclusive, and, you know, you say what you want about our production values, you know, we may have a, a sign behind us stuck up with duct tape, and we may be filming this in somebody's living room, but I'm going to tell you what, when it comes to quality, exclusive wrestling news, nothing's better than RFC video on Ripper the Clown Show on YouTube.com.